Hello my new man family, you all are welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to church, church at home, church online, <laughs> praise the Lord. I'm so glad to be here again, I wanted to come on yesterday but I just was so completely tired. It has been a, a very very powerful week, a very very uh, spiritually uh, strengthening week, spiritually empowering week, amen. I hope you all have been blessed this week and let me tell you something, the word I want to tell you right now came straight from the mouth of Abba Father, amen. In the quiet place, in the secret place, the Lord gave me this word, amen. Praise the Lord. I've got some emails about some people that have said, oh, see what God has done and then I've got some emails about some family members here that have said, oh, well, you know, after everything, I felt good for a minute and then all of a sudden, I don't know, like, I'm still Still feeling sick you, you need to understand something i said something during the passive night right i said don't live by what you see don't live by what you feel only live by the truth of god that you know in his word amen because you know what god's god's word is truth god's word is spirit and his life god's word does become flesh eventually hallelujah everything else will pass away but god's word is eternal so don't live by what you're feeling or what you're saying about you haven't moved physically or your healing hasn't come you know or that breakthrough you're waiting for hasn't manifested but if god has given you a word it is prophetic and it's for a day in the future to be fulfilled amen and you just being um a partaker of the past of the passover of the miracle nights or the communion of the anointing service everything is you putting your faith forward the devil definitely definitely wants to deceive you and make you feel as though you know oh the lord hasn't come through and he hasn't done anything yeah look at you see you're still there in the same place but the devil is a liar if you just keep on with the lord you will come to see that he is so 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 good so the lord gave me this word amen he said many have been released and that was on the 11th of march hallelujah that was on the 11th of march at about i think at about 4 a.m in the morning 11th of march the lord said to me many have been released many have been released and you know his word says in deuteronomy 15 verse 1 it says after every seven years you shall make a release amen the people of Israel had had to be released after 430 years of slavery. Hallelujah. Many of you have been released. Four, four plus three is seven. Seven is completion. Hallelujah. Perfection. Amen. So don't, don't uh, doubt what the Lord says. Because the Lord spoke about something concerning you right now. And you haven't said it right now, right now. Don't, don't, you know, turn your faith away. Keep trusting in the Lord because God's word is prophetic to be fulfilled for a date in the future, in, in the dates in in the future he makes all things beautiful in his time hallelujah praise the lord so the lord said many have been released many have been released many have been released you may not feel released physically just yet but you need to have faith in god and thank the lord and praise him with all your heart that i have been released child of god you have been released the same way peter was released by that by um by um an angelic intervention from the prison he was released miraculously they went through the first gate the second gate and the third gate opened up by itself many of you don't understand what the lord is about to do in your life it is supernatural you're entering into a supernatural realm you're about to shift supernaturally amen you're going into a new dimension into a new season hallelujah if you can't begin to see around you what the lord is beginning to do in your life just wait a little bit trust in him and make sure that your heart is right with him praise god somebody amen hallelujah the lord is going to be releasing you physically but you must take your victory in your spirit first of all because it's so important for you to catch it in here first before you see the manifestation on the physical amen praise the lord so take that word take that word and trust in god amen and declare over yourself and type it in the comment section right now i have been released praise god i have been released praise god i have been released Praise God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my release. I thank you, Lord, that whatsoever has been hindering or resisting my blessings, my breakthrough, my turnaround, it is judged today by the fire of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for my release. Indeed, I am truly released for the glory of of God hallelujah praise God 
I love you all so much. Love you, love you so much. And the Lord loves you so much more. Remain encouraged. Amen. I believe tonight we're going to have an anointing service. I'm waiting to get confirmation from the Lord first because I don't want to go on my own. We, uh, we had it last week. We had it the week before last week because he, because he led me to come on. So I'm going to wait for the Lord to give me the confirmation. And then I'll come here at about 7 p.m. and pray for the sick. And um, we will apply the anointing all to ourselves again. The Lord is wonderful. The Lord is awesome. And he is moving you all a few more videos coming up after this